Hello painters. Today we're going to be working on the WizKids Deep Cuts Mirror and Bird on a Stand. So starting off with some uh, painter's masking tape. I've masked off the everything but the mirror part. And in our airbrush I've got some Scale 75 Holdra Blue. And we're just going to paint the whole surface of the mirror with this. making sure we get really good coverage takes a couple coats nice and smooth just doing a little, another second pass here just make sure it's a good solid base coat All right, now if that's dry, I've got some Scale 75 Bearing Blue. And we're going to start highlighting. So starting in the upper left corner, can I do just like a diagonal streak across the corner? And then another one, same angle right across the center. And one in the bottom right corner. And we'll do a few passes of this color uh, over each section. Just want to make sure you leave some of that base coat uh, shining through between the uh, between each uh, row. All right, now I've got just some pure white and very thin. And now we're just going to brighten up those highlights a little more. Make sure you keep the tip of your airbrush clean so you don't get any speckling. I always uh, start my pass off of where uh, I want to paint just in case there's any little spurts of paint. We'll do a few passes, brightening that up. It's a very simple effect, but pretty good results. So one more pass. Now, so I took some Scale 75 Intense Black and uh, just did a uh, thin border around uh, the mirror. That kind of helps cover up any overspray or if, it, if your masking wasn't perfect, it'll help cover that up. It also kind of helps frame it out. So now I've got some Citadel uh, Null Oil and we're going to coat the rest of the model with that. And this is like the pre-shading for our wood grain. All right, so cut the whole model with the null oil. Now I've got scale 75 intense wood and I'm just gonna paint that on over everything but the mirror. This is the fastest way to get nice realistic looking wood, especially for furniture. Be careful not to get any on the mirror. All right, and then once that dries, I give it a coat of Mala Masters Lusterless Flat Varnish because the ink does give a gloss. So as you can see, that's super simple wood. That's it for the mirror. Now I've got the bird on the stand, which also comes in the same package. And we're going to coat the uh, stand with Vallejo Model Air Burnt Umber. But any dark brown will work. This is just the base coat for our gold. 
And for the gold, I have chose super, uh, Secret Weapon Miniatures Brass Castings. And we'll paint the whole stand with that. Next up, Secret Weapon Tire Black, and we'll paint the bird. Going for sort of a blackbird or a crow. Alright, now we've got Secret Weapon Rubber Highlight. We're just going to do a little highlight on the beak and the feet. And then just a little bit of highlights on the feathers. I'm, there's not very much paint on my brush. I'm basically just kind of doing a dry brush. More of a controlled dry brush. Just highlighting some of those feathers. Alright, now I've got some Reaper Sparkling Amethyst. This is a dark purple metallic paint. I've thinned it down quite a bit. I just want to get a little purple tint and a little bit of the sparkle to give it sort of the iridescence that uh, blackbirds have. So I'm mainly staying towards the top, hitting the top of his head and the top of his uh, wings and feathers, his back. And then now I've got Reaper Emerald Green, which is a metallic green. And we're gonna do the lower half of his body with that. It's hard to see on camera, but once you see the uh, turntable video at the end, you'll be able to see the effect. But you do want to thin this down. You don't want to paint your bird green. And I've decided to go back and add some silver details to the stand. So I'm just painting all the uh, little, like, uh, I don't know, little uh, parts on the stand that sort of stick out, the fittings, I guess. So just using a Vallejo Metal Color Mag or was it Dura Aluminum, so kind of a bright silver. And lastly, I've taken some Vallejo Monocolor Ivory and tried to just highlight the eyes on him. They are very small. And then once I did that, I took some of that emerald green and did a thin glaze over that just to give him sort of a green eye. And that is it. So here are the two finished products. You can see uh, how the uh, metallic paint works on the bird it's not just black it gives it a nice effect so if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe if you'd like to see more uh, if you'd like to support this channel then check out my patreon there are links in the description below thanks and see you next time